this time. How many, if you're in my age bracket, give or take a few years on either side, was very disturbed to find out that Peter Tork had passed away yesterday. Peter Tork! First it was Davy, now Peter. I can remember so vividly. I was in fourth grade and we were living in Paducah, Kentucky at the time. We only lived there for one year. Dad had, uh, he would go in and set up businesses. So a lot, until I was really in fifth grade, we moved a lot. But I remember fourth grade and we lived in this really old house. designated blankets like we do now. Like, I've got all kinds of fleece blankets and circle blankets and this and that blankets. Then we just did, we have blankets. And so I pull mine off the bed and it was red. And I would sit on the floor because there wasn't enough chairs in the living room. My mom would always stretch out on the couch and my dad would sit in his chair. And it was just me and my baby brother at the time, or my brother Joel at the time, and he's seven years younger than I am. So I would, my mom would let me have a snack, and my favorite snack of all times to watch the monkeys by was Citrus Cooler High C. The color alone looked like antifreeze, so it's probably not healthy for you. And then back then, Pop Tarts made this chocolate coconut Pop Tart. Oh, it was to die for. Well, that was always my snack while I was watching the monkeys. And I would do chores and I would save my allowance and once a month maybe it was every other month I can't even remember how often it came out I would buy Tiger Beat Magazine raise your hand if you remember Tiger Beat Magazine and they had pictures of all the people you know, all the monkeys and Paul Revere and the Raiders and Bobby Sherman and Sachi Khan, like, whatever happened to Sachi Khan, I don't know, and I would tear these out of the magazine and scotch tape them to my bedroom wall, and I'd like, you know, write my diary, I love Davy Jones, I love Peter Tork, I love Bobby Sherman, I really hope I could marry Bobby Sherman, I really hope I could marry Davy so, when I heard that Peter Tork had died, it was just kind of like that part of my childhood just kind of, it, it like, I don't know, it made me feel old. I am getting old. But a friend of mine, when we were talking about on Facebook yesterday, said, well, you know, none of us are getting out of here alive. And I'm like, well, you know, that's true. At least I know where I'm going. But still, it stares you a lot more in the face when something like this tends to happen. And, it, you know, because it's not one of those things like, uh, who's that guy I really liked? You know, you know who I'm talking about? Heath Ledger. When he died, everybody was like, <gasps> because he was young. But when, like, Peter Tork is like, oh, Peter Tork's dead 77. I'm like, I don't think that's very old. 77. He's still crying. So anyhow, that really bummed me out yesterday. Do you have a monkey memory? What was your favorite monkey song? Mine was Daydream Believer, of course. Although, 
Last Train to Clarksville is another one of my favorites. And right now, I happen to be driving to Clarksville, Virginia, which is probably not the Clarksville they were talking about. And I don't even know if there's a train station in Clarksville. There's got to be a train station in Clarksville, Virginia. But, anyhow. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Monkey memories. We need one. Who's your favorite monkey? Can you still name all the monkeys? Did you drink citrus cooler high C and eat chocolate coconut pop tarts? Yeah, breakfast of champions growing up. That's what I'm talking about. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.